from the beginning, boy, I uh. I don't like you as a person. I mean, dating's hard now, boy. Like nowadays, how would you wash your ass <laughs> when you poop? During it's during those times when you're alone. That's when you need to analyze and talk to yourself. Like, damn, what do I want out of this life, man? Make- Just before my good friend RJ left the Philippines for the next chapter of his travel journey, we squeeze in a podcast and talk about all sorts of things about life. Some of it are funny bullshit, and some of it are deep, serious conversation. So yeah, I hope you enjoy our podcast. Welcome to the Jack Podcast. Hey, hey, this is Dumb Dastic Podcast Episode 2. Let's get it. I guess, siguro, like, the main or, or overarching topic of this podcast is like, mm. you capping your Philippine journey. Oh, man. I was, wait, starting from when I arrived? Yeah. In 2020? Yeah. I Dang, think, uh, for me, long. for me, for me, how it looks like, for me, uh, uh-huh. looking from doubts, looking from my perspectives, like, right. it's finally time for you to cap yung, like, PH journey mm. mo. Yeah. Because I am ending the PH journey now since I am going to Thailand tomorrow, technically. Yeah. And uh, I've arrived in the Philippines, I'd say February 16, 2020. Mm-hmm. And then the pandemic happened March. God damn. <laughs> March 13. And that's when I was planning to do the whole travel thing, whole travel Southeast Asia. And then Philippines was just a, you know, just a chill spot because my parents were here. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And I was only supposed to stay for like two weeks, max. And Dito? Then, yeah. Like when you and come be, back? And then, be, uh, and then before, I was only supposed to stay two weeks before I would have gone to another place. And actually, Thailand was high on the list. Okay. I think Thailand would have been the next spot. But did you book na? Uh, not yet. Not uh, yet. Okay. I only booked Philippines for now. Very yeah. worried because like 2019, like December, January, there's mm. like talks. Oh about yeah, like, yeah. There was like talks about, you know, COVID happening. Yeah. But I didn't expect it to like everyone else. I didn't expect it to shut down the world. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. I feel like no one expected that. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Then three years later, here we are. Three years later, here we are. A lot has happened in those three years. Oh yeah, just for context, I used to be. An accountant. Oh shit! Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to college in, for uh, accountancy, and it's crazy because I did like a year and a half working full time. But then I realized after the first two months, it wasn't for me, and that was just the internship. Okay. Yeah. I did the internship, and then there was the actual full time job. So how long did you work for an accountant? I mean, I included. Uh, with the internship I included, that's basically a year and a half. Mm. A year and a half. Yeah, and then after that, I was like, this isn't for me, but I knew I needed to save up. Yeah. So I just, you know, the is it for like a year, mm-hmm. even though I hated the job. Every day I was just like, I was struggling, I was struggling mentally. Mm. Why is like, I was like, I feel like my soul was getting sucked by, you know, the corporate job. And I knew it wasn't for me from the get go. Yeah. But money makes the world go around, so. <laughs> but I think uh, like ngayon, for content mm. creation, there's two ways. Yeah. You could do it. One is like what you did, like work full time and then save so much money. Yeah. And the other, the other is why I did. na I mm. had like a part time job where yeah. I earned, but at the same time I yeah. can start making uh, content creation. Because mm. I started what 2016, 17. Mm, Pero it's not like content creation. For business, talaga, for mm. like a career. It's just personal. Yeah, it's just a personal. hobby. Yeah. Hobby at the time. Yeah. Nice. But actually, I was doing like content also. So I was doing the full time job. And then I would finish around 6 p.m. Okay. And then after that, I would go straight into like learning how to edit. Ah. Uh. So, and then my days would be finished by like 11 p.m. Fuck. And then start again like 6 a.m. <laughs> do you think at <laughs> this age that. you could still do that? That grind? Like, uh, work a full-time job, tapos, like, you could do content after. Mm, I feel like if you really want to, I still think, I still think I can. Yeah. But, I don't know. Right now, all the focus now is on the content. Hmm. Because yeah. I'm thinking that, uh, I think there, there will be a certain age, age na you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that anymore. Hmm. Because you're too tired. I mean, yeah. But I think, I think it really depends on how much you want it then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's just I don't know my thing. Do you want to talk about your juicy topic, mo? I don't know juicy topic. Uh, your romance, like uh, love life romance. And things. Well, like the recent romance. Um 
Uh, how do, how do I explain it? I mean, I'm getting over it because it was a situation ship, uh-huh. and I guess it recently ended, not even a month ago, almost a month now, actually. Or maybe three weeks. It's been three weeks since it happened, so it's kind of fresh still. But um, basically, like it didn't work out, and uh, reason why? I mean, it was good. Obviously, like in beginning parts of the relationship, it's always good. But then, for me, cause uh, I, you know, going through this process, I realized like what kind of, uh, what kind of s- attachment style I have, mm. and uh, the attachment style that I have. So there's like different kinds. There's like the anxious, anxious attachment. There's an avoidant attachment. What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So anxious attachment is like, I, I think it's like where you like overthink about someone. So like for example, they they message you, right? Uh-huh. And then or you're you message someone, they seen you, and then you're just like, uh, like oh you're overthinking okay. like so many thoughts in your head like oh why is he not replying like uh-huh. you're just thinking the worst, and then avoidant attachment is uh, when you for example, when someone or a partner like did you wrong, but like for example like you just had a little argument or mm. they kind of like rubbed you off the wrong way. But you won't bring it up to talk to them about it. Like you just avoid it, and mm. then, like your your actions just kind of you you get a little bit cold. Like you get distant okay, guy, from guy, the guy, situation. Guy. Yeah. Okay. Besides, like talking about it, like an anxious attachment would want to talk about it, mm. right? Mm. But an avoidant, like I I would just like leave it and then just think about it and then like. Maybe come back. Kumbaga non-confrontational. In a way, in a way, yeah, non-confrontational. Mm-hmm. But for me, like, I don't know. I think I was reading so much into it then, or I was like, you know, watching like what what kind of attachments I am, and it was avoidant attachment because I realized then when I was growing up as a kid, like I kept moving around, right? Mm-hmm. And then so, like, it's hard for me to build connections with people. Yeah. And then so, in order for me to not get hurt. I just like block and put a wall up so that so that's why it's avoidant attachment so w- because when I'm cold it means that I'm just trying to avoid getting hurt also does okay. that make sense yeah it makes sense it makes yeah. sense it makes sense that's the avoidant attachment but okay. I think that stemmed from like my childhood when oh that's your childhood up. trauma that was the childhood trauma because, you know, I see other people, like, with their childhood friends and, hey, you yeah. know, like, they grew up with people, Yeah, that's right? one thing I always yeah, ask me, you. I like, never had that. Yeah, yeah. I never had that. Yeah, growing like, up, people always came and go. I always came and go. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. the tough part. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. So, that stems from it. For me, that's that's how I believe now why I'm that way. Why I'm, I'm an avoidant attachment. Okay. So, for me, when I... Honestly, like for this like past relationship then, or situationship when, when I knew it was getting close, like we're mm. getting close, and then we had like a trip together in Kamigan, mm. and then it was all good, it was mm. all good. But then I was already looking to the future and like I was gonna go to Thailand and I just didn't see it happening. Mm. So then I just like right away like I cut it off. I was like, this is the last time I'm wait, gonna wait, wait. You. Let me pause you there. Mm. But from her perspective, like, did she want to like? try to make the relationship work even though it's yeah so that's what happened oh when i tried to cut it off they're like she was like oh we don't know what it is yet you know like let's just try and then when i was like messaging and saying oh this this is gonna end now you know we're done we're done but then she would always say like let's try it out let's see and i was like okay oh my god yeah. like, that's the start and, but then deep down for me because it's like in a way it made me feel kind of like i, I don't want to say like i play hard to get you know, but like just because deep down, like I wanted to try it too. Yeah, bro. At the same time, like it's just my my attachment style now. I I push it away. So because okay. I knew like it might not work out, and then it ended up not working out anyways. So, uh, uh, but the way that it ended was like I think though I think for me like in terms of you know relationships and stuff like it was the the most painful one uh, I experienced. Just because, like, in relationships, you know, you can tell when it's going downhill. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But this one, it was like, like, an analogy I say, it's like, I got amputated. It's like, 
it was good one time and then like out of nowhere it was just gone okay my question is like how would you compare it because for me uh, like i uh-huh. haven't been in a relationship for a long time yeah yeah and parang your first love for me uh, like uh-huh. my first love it hurts the most because it mm. takes away the innocence it does it does but how would you compare it, the pain compared to your first love where parang nawala yung innocence mo na oh somebody could not love me back mm. no i mean i mean don't get me wrong like i've been also in love before uh uh-huh. and when it ended it was still painful you know like i still cried and stuff but at least for me i knew it was it was going downhill mm. i knew like it wasn't going to work out mm. but this one it's like i thought it could have worked out but then it was getting better and out of nowhere just like the rug has been pulled out of my feet and then I mean, like, it caught oh. you off guard yeah it definitely caught me off guard because everything was good and then i mean not everything was good but i mean there were some problems but i thought it was getting fixed mm. Mm. but then like afterwards when they went out for the weekend and stuff uh and then came back like things were different mm. out of nowhere and just like whoa was not expecting that yeah it's like a different person yeah but i just couldn't imagine uh, someone would go on a trip because like she went on a trip about the yeah. in the us i was like someone would not finish the trip like would go like earlier mm yeah He's, uh, like, i mean much. she ended up like staying with her friends and stuff ah, and okay because she did have like the friends that she went out with during the weekend oh. she stayed she stayed with them afterwards and honestly like i didn't want to you know like beg for stay or something yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know just you got to do what you got to do at the same time and like, i cuz i'm not the type now i'll beg you to stay damn you know like it, as was painful as it is like i'm like you know like you don't want it you like you don't want me like fine like Yeah. I mean that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I me mean, I don't know, but for me, ah. You like, talk about you talk about your your situation. What? Well, well, which one? I don't have any situation right no, now. No, 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 your situation about like Which one? Cuz uh, for me like I cut it off. Oh. Know? But you oh, okay, you give yeah. Okay, oh. I'll let you explain it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> This is so All right. Okay. Back to you, boy. Okay, so what happened is like we broke up right. 2010. But mm. there's still some sort of attachment. I think, ah, mm. uh, from my perspective, I could I couldn't like say from uh-huh. her. But from how it looks like for me, like there's still like back and forth communication. So uh-huh. broke up 2010, think 2012 we're still communicating, yeah. and then she moved out of yeah, the country. Yeah, out of the country. Okay, then she, uh, yeah, like migrated she out of the country. I won't uh-huh. say that. Because like you, no, I mean, people would I, know. I would people, say, certain people would know. <laughs> certain people would know. She came back, uh, and she. I mean, whenever she comes back to the Philippines, we hang out. So that's mm. uh, I think. I don't know like what year this is, it, mm. but I think since 2014 to 2017 or 2016 yeah. to 2017, we still hang out. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. But you, like when you say hang out, like, is it intimate hangout? No, 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 no. Just friends hang no, out. Just friends like hang out. But yeah. still, but yeah, it is still friends. It should be friends hang out. Uh-huh. No, nothing intimate happened. Uh-huh. Pero <laughs> it's still, ano ba? It's still hard to decipher things. Because mm. your ex, you have mm. been into an intimate relationship. So I don't know. It's you, you think you think you think exes can be friends? Yeah, I think so. Think I'm so? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying right now, Damn. boy. But I feel like I don't know. For me, I feel like there's just too much ba- baggage mm. no like mm. would you be comfortable for example if your ex or your you have a girlfriend for example right mm. and she still hangs out with her ex like wait, wait, would what? you be comfortable like you for example like now you have a girlfriend ah and then she then she still hangs out with her ex like would you be comfortable with that like knowing they're given no. past yeah yeah it's a exactly ah, it's like that facts But because, like, from how I'm looking at it, like, I think time could heal everything. Maybe, possibly, eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from my perspective, ah, yeah. since I'm expressing it right now, now, yeah. like, it's been like 
a decade. Mm. Diba? So you think, you think like the time apart with your ex, it healed na the wounds where you can be friends. Yeah, mm. definitely do. Definitely so, but what if she has a boyfriend now? Well, that does that affect your mindset, like, or no, I'm just fine. You know, I mean, we're be, hanging out as friends, boy. No, no, but I know, but I'm saying, like, what if she has a boyfriend now, and then... And then? Like, what does that affect you? Knowing oh, that you still have... Will I still hang out with her? Yeah. And, yeah. And kind of, like... I mean, I'm not, like, hoping that we're getting back together. Yeah. That's the thing, boy. I'm not hoping that we're getting back together. Ah. Uh, bro, you know there's still that little kind of... Yeah, I mean, everything's possible right now, boy. Like, exactly. I've seen so much things. Exactly, yeah. But I'm not hoping. Yeah, you're not hoping, but <laughs> I think by hanging out with them, you're holding on to the slight chance. I don't know. There's I don't slight know. Chance. I'm not thinking that way. I don't know. I'm not thinking that yeah. way. I don't know. I think so. But <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have fun. Yeah. 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 And here's the thing. I think uh, when we hang out, it's always fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero just don't get too attached to that yeah, you know, feeling exactly. that you can't, it's fun. You can't get attached. I don't know. But then also going back, sorry, but for me, it, because for me, it's being an avoidant attachment so easy to cut people off, right? So like once kind of that relationship or friendship is done, then I can just move on to the next yeah, yeah pero knowing you nga like observing yeah. you from like a year na yeah like you're really good at cutting people off <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good and a bad thing honestly but yeah I mean there's 8 billion people in the world so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah pero ano ah like when I think about your situation like when I like you mm. put me in, in your situation yeah like, that's still risk like getting hurt what do you mean like falling in love it's part of like no, for yeah, it's part of the deal. It, was, it was good. It it's was a good experience. Deal. It was a good experience. It's part of the deal. Yeah, and honestly, if you want like a bounce back or you want to be like the better version of yourself, like get a heartbreak, <laughs> <laughs> a heartbreak because it'll force you to kind of figure out what your next steps are. And yeah, that's what I think. Right, diba? when you think about it, see Taylor Swift, diba? she gets in- inspired. <laughs> yeah, when she gets a breakup. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, it's perfect timing also because Thailand's coming up. Uh, Thailand's a new chapter. And is it recording? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just I just see the oh, exposure because okay. it's like dark now. Yeah. Thailand Thailand is uh, coming and then, you know, I don't have, I'm not attached to anything. So it's ready for the next chapter. All right. <laughs> mm. I, I, I thought. Like mm. from the beginning, boy, I uh. I don't like you as a person. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's just put it, put it yeah, like, yeah, yeah, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, you, you could use that as like the beginning bit okay, of the okay. of the video. Like, like honestly, like, honestly, honestly, beginning, I don't like you as a I person. I don't like you. As, I really don't like you. Okay. Like, I don't know. I mean, you know that like, you know what happened. Like, uh. like the first time we met, so uh. it's an airport, though. Like, I have this rookie mistake that I didn't bring Philippine money. I like, don't have peso. <laughs> and I didn't know oh. now you need to pay travel tax. I know like when people say, "Oh, you're too dumb." Dapat alam mo yun Boy, that's rookie travel mistake. Okay, I didn't have peso because like, I changed all my money into dollar. And then so then this guys, mm. he, he just left me like I was asking for help. Na, oh, could you lend me money? I'll pay you. I'll. I mean, I could pay. I could definitely pay. It's just that it happened. Uh, like I don't know. Like for yeah. some reason, like I I know yung sides nyo, pero I don't know why you didn't help me. At that time. No, but at the end though, like I did, I gave I gave money to the guy oh, to give uh, it to you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was uh, the one that did it at the end of the day. None of the it, others uh, did. Yeah, 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 I don't think it. But, I don't but think then you already not, got the money back. I did, I. Yeah. Okay, okay, like okay. Further on, like yeah. during that first trip, now we hang yeah. out. Then this guy, uh so I'm being <laughs> a good person because we went to some fishing village. Yeah, we went to fishing village in Vietnam. Uh-huh. So you. Shoesko smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to launch yung shoes ko. Okay, so oh that's yung shoes mo din is dirty. <laughs> Tapos uh, you ask me na oh pwede pa sa bay. <laughs> Tapos sinab- I get it back. Uh-huh. And then when I'm asking him to pay me back dun sa charge, he's not 
paying me in like a single currency. Boy, you pay me in dong, Vietnamese dong and peso. Wasn't it just Vietnamese? Yeah, boy, so stupid. Just talaga. Vietnamese. No, though. boy, oh, it's <laughs> mixed. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. You pay me mixed currency. It doesn't Damn. make sense, boy. That's two, strike two. And then num- number three, boy. So like when our work is done, we we're able to hang out, nah. Uh-huh. Then in Vietnam, like, what the fuck is your thing? You just like hang out some market in Benten. Oh, Benten. Boy, yeah, yeah, boy, you spend so much time in Benten, Mar- and I don't know, I'm not into shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you you buy shorts. I think you buy shorts and socks oh, during yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. this is like last year, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think one of our seniors asked me, "Oh, do you think you'll be friends with those people?" And then I said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hindsight 2020, we're not hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I didn't expect then, uh, like, to hang out with you. I mean, like, first impression then, like for me, it was like, damn, this guy's irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> from the get go, I was like, why should I help out someone now that messed up? You know what I mean? Like, because I only, I didn't have that much like Philippine peso yeah, with yeah, me yeah. to be fair. Also, because yeah, yeah. I like. That was like the backup. Yeah. I was like, if I'm screwed, then no, I don't have anything else. Yeah. The, but then I was just like, uh, I don't know, like might as well. And then, yeah, the, the other ones, yeah, that that was, yeah, that's free. I mean, cause I was just trying to pay everything in uh in Vietnamese dong, also, to be fair. But then like, I knew I didn't have enough. Yeah. So then I would, <laughs> then I tried to pay pes- it's But so I mean, yeah, now it's like think about it, it's like very inconvenient yeah, yeah yeah so it's just funny uh, yeah. yeah i mean sorry for sorry yeah, it's for that, fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just like i mean now that you know me for a year the right? like, yeah you know yeah, that. yeah now now yeah. i know like the lengths you're willing to go like as a friend and yeah. like for, you know for some reason talaga, during uh-huh. that day it was my worst like during the like, airport worst, like worst. oh yeah yeah yeah, I mean, I know. I yeah, that's why. That's why you never like judge a book by its cover, yeah, for yeah. sure. It just happens yeah. that it's it's really a bad day, talaga, for me yeah, during that day. For sure. I don't have for money. Sure. I get interrogated by the immigration officer. <laughs> Almost didn't make my flight. Yeah. Yeah, it was just one of those days. that's super unlucky for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything happens. Weirdly, but. Uh, but I mean. Look at us now hanging out, like, yeah. making the time to, like, kick it. Yeah. yeah. That's why nga na parang ngayon, like, you just couldn't tell talaga, mm. like, what would happen next. Yeah, that's or, true, I guess. Diba? I, I mean, guess. sure, you could try to foresee or parang you wanted mm. this to happen. It's fine. I think mm. it's good na you want to expect something. Pero just be realistic na anything could happen. I don't know. Just what... Mm. Yung I'm currently thinking right now. Just in life in general, like it yeah. can happen. Tapos one thing din na oh, okay. Mm. Uh, this you parang ito yung overarching theme of my life right now, like because uh. I'm turning thirty in a month. Right. Like parang I'm capping up my twenties and like yeah. what's what are the lessons I've learned? I think for me, ha, huh, you couldn't take full control of your life. You couldn't. Yeah, you can. You can't. You can. But could affect the direction of where it's going. Yeah. Is it going only, to the bad or good? You can only control how yeah. you act on the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the only thing that you can control talaga mm. is the direction of where you're going, but not the speed or how fast you would succeed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, you're going to the right direction or the wrong direction. That's just mm. the only thing that you could control. Mm. How do you know if you're going the wrong direction? Uh, that's how one do you thing, know when you're I, going the right? I don't know. That's one thing that I don't know. I yeah, couldn't fully say. Yeah. But I think the only thing na mag tell say if you you did go the right direction is yung I don't know if you succeed na or like mm. if the fruits of what you did bears mm. na. Mm. I think that's the only time na you could really tell na you no you made the right the I don't know, right choice. Yeah, because yeah, I made I made the money when I was young, but I mm. shit. Lost in love money. Yeah, the ba? Fuck. Yeah. One thing thing that I've learned is that even if you think that you lost everything, yeah. you could still stand up. You could still. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. That's how it should be. Yeah. But uh, I mean, in the be- at the moment, it feels like the end of the world. Yeah, it for feel- sure. It feels like. But 
You just have to, you know, put one foot in front of the other. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, you'll be fine. Yeah, eventually. That's, yeah, boy. I mean, you could take max risk talaga in mm. your 20s. Yeah. And if parang you made the wrong decision, parang at the end of your life, you could still be all right. You could still be yeah. okay. Yeah. I think I I agree. I agree then. Yeah, you could... S- I feel like as long as you don't give up, mm. there's always... You can... As long as you have the courage to just get back up, you'll be fine. Because life, there's always good days and there are for sure bad days. Pretty, how how would you build your persistency? How will you build it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like some people just quit. Some yeah, people pursue. Definitely. But like, what do you think makes yung mga per- person that pursue persistent? Mm, I think you have to figure out the why. Eh? Ah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, and that takes a lot of deep self-reflection. Mm. Like you really have to analyze yourself, and some comfortable. You know, like especially if you're the type that you always want to be with people, mm. right? But there are times where a lot of people are uncomfortable being by themselves but during it's during those times when you're alone that's when you need to analyze and talk to yourself like damn what do i want out of this life man because life's not infinite yeah, yeah, yeah so i think that's how you figure out once you figure out your why then you just become persistent and especially if you figure out your why and you figure out what you want to do That'll give that that'll make you persistent. But honestly, like easier said than done. Mm. Or going back to that, I know topic na, like you should know what you wanted. Like ngayon, like looking at yourself, what mm. do you want? Um, I just know right now, like I still want to pursue content creation. Mm-hmm. And it's been what like three, four years, and I still want to do it. Mm-hmm. Like. I mean, there. Don't get me wrong. Like, there are times where I was distracted. There are times now. I think like, is this even working for me? But for some reason, I just keep going back. It, it yeah, makes yeah. me happy. Like, I love, I love it. So, I mean, like with everything though, there. Like with everything, you can't love it every day. Mm, mm, there be times now, like, oh, what am I doing? You know. Yeah. But, I think overall. I still analyzing, but I still love it when I ask myself that question. So yeah, I do. Yep. Yeah, I guess for me, boy, it's like I'm doing what I love to do, which is this. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I got to hang out with a friend. Yeah. Record, make a podcast. Yeah. I mean, it's actually like so nice than seeing your like videos, boy. Like your storytelling like, yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I actually enjoy it, yeah, and yeah. I watch, I watch it all of it. Then, I think yeah. at, at my very core talaga, uh, that's just what I want to do. I just want to tell fucking stories. <laughs> yeah. you know, that's what I want to do. Yeah. I just want it to be sustainable na, oh, for sure at some mm. point, I want to move out. I want to get mm. home. I want to get my yeah, own car. For sure. I mean, so that's what somehow uh, stressing mm. me na, oh shit. Like, is this pa? Will, will it yeah. be really sustainable? Will, will it be? Will it give me some future talaga? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the only thing that medyo, I think I don't know, kind of worried yeah. some way somehow. Yeah, I'm I'm worried then in, in <laughs> terms of that. I think any anybody's worried done, de ba? Pero like for me, it's what year seven year mm-hmm. I don't know, 2016, 17. Yeah. Yeah, but I still I still want it. I'm still doing. I'm still grinding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and, and that's what I think. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you still love it at the end of the day. You could honestly say to yourself, "Now you still love creating." So, ito naman from mm. like, could you tell something? Na what's mm. the most memorable experience from your travels? Oh damn! So much, boy. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, I mean. A unique travel for sure was the Mongolia one. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolia got the, and it was so freezing cold, and then mind you, it was like there's snow. Mm. It was like a, it wasn't a man like a blizzard, but there was like a lot of snow, and then I don't know why sometimes like I 
underestimate things, right? Mm. So to Mongolia, I just brought like a regular like trainers, okay. like running shoes. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, bruh, dang, I, I don't know. Like thinking back, like yeah, I just understand. I, I always say, tell myself that like, I could, I could do this. But then when it was, you're actually there, oh my god, it's so cold. But then bless the guy soul, um, the, one of the drivers from Mongolia, he gave me his boots, and then when I wore it, it was the same size. Oh, that's good. That's it's good. perfect. So then we took those boots. I mean, I took those boots. And then because uh, we rode on horses and we went up the mountains to meet the reindeer family. Mm. And then when we got up there, like we actually get to ride on the reindeers. And then it's just crazy because you got these little kids. I probably They're probably like ra- their ages ranges from like three to seven. There's like three of them. And then they're, do- they're doing like hard work, like la- hard labor. Huh? They're like chopping wood <laughs> to keep themselves warm, like throw the wood in a furnace. And then mind you, like we all stayed in a teepee house. Okay. And then there's like ten people squished into a small teepee house. Like if you see this, like this mat right here, just probably double the size of that. And then that's a teepee house. Damn, it's so small. Yeah. Man. And there's like fifteen people in one teepee house. <laughs> 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 oh my god. No, that was a, that was a struggle for sure. Would I do it again? Nah. <laughs> nah, but that was. It was such a memorable experience. And then there was, like, no bathroom. So then, like, th- the bathroom would be, for example, this open field, right? And then there would just be, like, one small, you know, like, those, uh, this not disposable, but the portable potties. Ah. The portable potties. And then it's a wooden, it's a wooden portable potties. And then it's just a hole in the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then no sink, no nothing. And then, so if you have to poo, you have to pee. You just squat and then hopefully you don't fall. <laughs> Boy, wait lang. I have a question. <laughs> How would you wash your ass when you poop? Use wipes. Wet ah, wipes. Yeah, wipes. Yeah, everyone had wet wipes. Oh, so the wet wipes doesn't uh, like freeze? Huh? It doesn't uh, freeze. Thank goodness it doesn't. Oh. It didn't. I mean, to be fair, like, the only, we ha- our cars had heaters. Mm. So then it was yeah. okay that way. I should yeah, that I mean that was a memorable experience. A wildest experience. Um I, don't know, I can't think of like a wild I mean you have your typhoon experience deep. Oh yeah, That's the typhoon experience, yeah. Yeah, that one was wild because I was expecting to stay in Shargao for like indefinite right yeah and then i was actually a bartender i became a bartender <laughs> oh that's a cool story boy like tell that yeah, story yeah. tell that story boy <laughs> i became a bartender in shargao because i was just really interested in uh, learning how to bartend because i think it's cool mm. and then uh because before i went to shargao in december i went to shargao for the first time in september and i kept going to this bar like mama coco <laughs> and then uh and then i became friends with the owners okay. and then during that time from September to December, I was just messaging them like, "Oh, can I learn how to bar? Like, can you teach me how to bartend?" And 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 then um, they said, "Sure, like you can actually start." So then I started as a bartender and learned everything as a bartender. It was good, boy, because like, to be fair, like, I don't know, it's weird because all the attention was on me. Like, you know, like with like girls and stuff, like mm. they would just go up to you and you don't have to like say anything. Honestly, it was it was like easy to meet new people. Mm. But I think it was the universe's sign. Uh, it was a bad thing also because like I was not creating content anymore. Like oh, yeah, I was yeah. contented with the bartending and just meeting new people and stuff like that. And then so not even two weeks into the bartending career, the typhoon happened. <laughs> and they said it was the strongest typhoon out in like 30, 50 years. Yeah, really destroyed. Right yeah, now. everything dis- everything got destroyed. And then it was wild because uh, we had... Uh, like there was so many options to leave the island mm. like one we could take you know the island hopping boats oh, we could have taken that okay. from Shargao and go to Suriga with an island hopping boat <laughs> but then we tested our luck because we heard nah, they're bringing rations from Manila to yeah. Shargao and then we didn't know if we could ride on the planes but we tested our luck and then thank god now we're able to mm. yeah and, and at this time then like I had the fling Nah, <laughs> I, I had a fling na, um, like, on yeah, I mean we had a mutual friend and then I I had the fling with that girl, and then the typhoon happened and stuff, and then we end up like trying to survive together and it was weird because I thought 
Like I wasn't gonna see her again, but then I just saw her in a gas station, and she like stayed with me. Huh? Like, I, cause, like, cause we were trying to get gas for our motor motorbikes. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I just saw her there, and then like we end up reconnecting, and she just stayed with me to like escape everything. Wait, she stayed with you? Yeah, she like wanted to come with me. Did <laughs> here in Manila? <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> she like. During the typhoon, ah, I, okay. I mean after the typhoon, like trying to escape. Mm. But then the thing is, like she ended up staying with me also in the con. In when I got back to Manila, what the fuck yeah. is this story, boy? Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, I didn't know. Oh this yeah, shit. she stayed with me for like a month. What the fuck? Yeah, in the condo that I was staying in Manila, and then, yeah. Huh? And then how did you bro? I mean, how did you separate? Ah, uh, because she had to go back to like Sweden, and then. I I know. Oh, she's a Swede. Yeah, like, well, what is she like? Filipino Swede, Swede. You Swedish, know, like Sweden. she's like a, also Pinay, but grew up in Sweden. Ah. Yeah. Or born in Sweden, or grew up in Sweden, something like that. I see. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah, and then, and then we had. I mean, we did say no, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but. I, I mean, think, boy. I, but I think for me, it's I think weird. I, I think the. It just got <laughs> we, we just got close, you know. We experienced a typhoon together, and then, like, obviously, like. I mean, boy, if it happened to me. Up. Yeah. Like I don't know how to lose connection with that person. Ah. Uh. I don't know. It's such an intimate. Per- I mean, it's just a. I mean, it's so intimate experience that we share the same life and death experience. Mm. I don't know. I mean, oh no! I mean, we didn't experience the typhoon together ah, yeah, we yeah. just experienced the escape ah. together yeah wow. yeah but we were messaging though nah like <laughs> inter- when like before the typhoon happened uh-huh. she was like uh, can I like go to where you're you're at and I'm like sure you know <laughs> but then um I don't know I don't know why it didn't happen yeah because it was kind of far I think and uh, wow, just no. fate, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, now we're not speaking in terms then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like I think at the end of the day, I mean the world works. Na you'll end up where you deserve. Pero not mm. every. T- I mean not like immediately. Yeah. Pero like, I don't know, at the end of the day or like when things starts to settle, you'll mm. end up where you should be. Yeah, that's why I don't really try to stress about mm. a lot of things because... But that's something easy yeah. to say. Yeah, it is easy to say. But at the moment, it's, it's hard to go through it. And you can easily play the victim. Mm. Like, why me? Why me? But then, I feel, I don't know. Just, I guess, peace of mind and everything that's supposed to happen is meant to mm. happen. Mm. Yeah, definitely agree. Yeah. But... Actually, this like this pa- the recent situation ship. It kind of helped me then like get better in terms of like being a better like communicator and stuff. Cause you know, like as an avoidant attachment, like I try not to talk too much about my feelings. If something's bothering me, like I just say nah, like nothing's bothering me. But then eventually, like they'll figure out now. Nah, oh, something is really wrong. But then I realize not nah, nah, I should be more communicative. Uh, more commun and be more communicate more in terms of like okay so I'm, I'm an avoidant attachment but I should let them know now oh something's really bothering me but like I'll, I'll let you know now I'll just need like maybe like one like a one day to try to figure it out and mm. you know like just so, just so that they're not left in the dark now oh why is he being cold right so that's one and then uh, second I also realized how much like of a I guess asshole I was to like girls back then in terms of like I would just cut everything off yeah, like yeah. right away right just, I mean in short you ghosted pers- people not ghosted but well, I, would just, like, ghosting? I would just like I would just cut the like the relationship or like fling whatnot. but then at the same time nah I, I noticed I, I I guess I felt like how that I how I felt you know that same thing not from someone just like cutting everything off and it wasn't good so I mean, you live and you learn, I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, no, I mean, diba parang you get that taste of your own medicine. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, that's why I needed 
so I can be more mature for the next you know, person to come. I'll be a better better yeah. version of myself. Okay, okay. This is one thing that it's not freaking me out, but uh, I know this is my weakness. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't like to chat. I don't like to text. I don't like written form communication. Mm. You prefer We're, like face to face. Yeah, yeah. Or call. Yeah. Or call. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know if you know. With, with that said, huh? With that said, I'm really having a hard time using the apps. Using the apps. Ah, <laughs> yeah. The like apps. I'm, I, I'm not really good at it, boy. <laughs> like, I'm the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the initial thing that you need to do, the right? mm. To chat. Or say yeah, hi. Yeah, the chat. I just the don't chat. get it. I don't know. I don't really get it, boy. Uh, I don't. I don't know the game. I don't. Know, mm. I don't have risk. Pag dating sa chat, <laughs> like zero risk talaga when it comes to chatting talaga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yun, na lang parang. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to get good at it. Mm. Parang I'm just naturally bad at communication through mm. written form. Pero pag kaganto, I'm mm. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Easy to talk to. You just need to go to bars. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There's one thing then uh I wanted to experience but I'm not I don't want to force it. No, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I definitely don't want to force it. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's uh it's tough now. I mean, dating's hard now, boy. Like nowadays, there's just so many options you sw- you like swipe and then you just see a pretty girl and then you compare her to like your current fling and then you know oh yeah. this one thing or one, vice versa too boy, for the boy, girl this is one question talaga na I have before before mm. parang how could you settle for a partner if you know mm. that there will always be some someone better uh, actually you know what I think you can find someone better in terms of like looks maybe yeah yeah but yeah. it's so hard boy to connect someone with someone on a deeper level like actually let you guys understand each other mm. you know what i mean yeah because i think another reason why it was the the last relation or situation was hard was because for me i felt like we connected pretty well mm. like like you know take away like the intimacy and all that stuff but in terms of like mentally wise now nah, we're kind of able to communicate and try to like learn from each other mm. versus you know do about others it's just like physical intimacy or something like that uh, but <laughs> wait long but pero don't you think you're s- is it right to settle to settle I think uh I think that depends on you. Because obviously na I mean I realized then uh like it's hard boy to find some like a good girl then uh that you like. But honestly like so I had I had an ex, right? Ah. And uh n- now she's married. But she was like the like my love love like what she what was that? That mean? <laughs> what do meaning none? <laughs> like, she was the first one I actually like fell in love with. Okay. And stuff, and it, she was my longest relationship then three years. Okay. Three years, and then the reason why it didn't work out was because like I knew I was gonna do my own thing, like go to the, go travel, and then she's more of like the homebody. Mm. So she knew what she wanted already. Like she knew like she wanted to have a family, like raise kids and stuff, and I wasn't ready to give that. Mm. And then. And then in the beginning, when we broke up, I think I I was the one that initiated it. When we broke up, I was I mean of course like we both cried, yeah. but for me I think it was better for me in terms of now I was able to move on from it mm. easier because you know I I for me like I believe now that that was it. But then three years or four years after, I it made me realize that then uh, then like. She's honestly like she could be like a perfect wife, you know. Oh. Yeah. And, and it's hard to find someone as genuine and like nice oh. as her. So she's like <clears throat> the one that got away. In a way I'd say yeah, so. Okay. But at the same time, nah like we don't again we don't follow each other in the socials or anything anymore. And oh. then 
It's crazy then because. But, uh, hey, let me just cut it a bit. It's kind of nice to see how other people are doing now in their life. I don't know. Mm. Actually, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what was happening to her until like my mom was like, "Oh, did you know you're like the girl's married yeah. now or engaged?" I was like, "Oh, no way!" Like yeah. that's kind of fast. It was like two two years after, like two three years after. Now we broke up. Mm-hmm. Two three years, and then, and then when I went back. Th- in September actually na. did you meet her? no I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> no. I d- honestly like she's such a sweetheart no mm. I don't wanna like ruin I mean it's not like ruining something no it's just, it's just I mean you can reconcile in a good way I mean you can but like honestly what good would that do when she's already happy she was already able to move on from uh, mm. another heartbreak yeah yeah, me, yeah I'd rather be na, for me like be the villain in her story so that she can like find the happiness, you know what I mean? Okay. Because if I come back again, like, like what's what's the point? What's the point? Mm. Yeah, yeah. When, she, when you're when you're already happy, when you're yeah, already moved I on. mean, I could see it then, na man, uh, like, what's the point? Dama, dama, yeah. Man, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. What's the point? There's yeah. no value now. You'll give. Diba? Exactly. There's there's no there's no value. Okay. Uh, and there's too much baggage already. You know what I mean? Like, there's too much history between us. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing with history. Mm. Parang ah, uh, paano ba? Some way, somehow, you could let it go. Eh. I don't know. It's, I mean, you can, you can, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Can There's you let it go though? Which one? I don't know. The, like the baggage. Like the yeah, history. I think, yeah, yeah, I think. Because it's always going to be there. You know what I mean? Like, it's always going to be there if you bring it up. Yeah. If you, I, I think you could compartmentalize it somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere mm. in your brain. Nah. Just don't Maybe. bring it up. Maybe. But then again, as an avoided attachment, I just like yeah. try to let it go. and. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Like, there's one thing that uh, was the went in the day, I think, years ago. Nah. Mm-hmm. And I feel bad because if I feel bored about someone, I just couldn't yeah. hide it, talaga. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Boy, like, <laughs> I just, it's just an, an hour of date and like, okay, let's just go home. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell them like, well, well, you just got your food. I'm done. <laughs> like, I'm done with the, I'm done with this date. Sorry, you pay for yourself. No, no, no I, I mean, I I'm did kidding, pay I'm for his kidding. food for food. I'm just kidding. I'm just Pero kidding. Pero I just couldn't like. Like you knew that was it. Yeah, was like it. I need. Uh, I already got the information I need to know, mm. and I'm not interested anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I just couldn't hide it, talaga. Uh, I just. Uh, wait, what, when you say you couldn't hide it, like, how did you act? Like you just became cold, or you're just like, yeah, this this isn't gonna work out. Like, <laughs> did you tell her straight up? Or? No, no, parang oh, tapos eh, she's done eating na. Mm. So I said, ah, oh, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> you savage boy. Boy, I, I really couldn't. Ha- I really don't know how to handle yeah, it. I guess that's good. Now you're not beating around the bush. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't talaga. Like yeah. if I'm done with the person, mm. that's it. Like I couldn't hide talaga. Like I'm one of the easiest person to read. Mm. I couldn't okay. lie. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's one thing that uh, I don't know if I'm scared. Na baka mm. I might offend somebody na naman. I point. think you are. Oh, what do you mean you are? No, you like I think. I mean, like in terms of like, like being scared of offending someone. Ah. I mean, to be fair, you you have a good tolerance then for people. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, eventually you can't t- like you might not be able to hide it. But I think you're better than me at like trying to hide things. Cause uh, oh. you know you know yeah. this when I don't like it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I don't like someone, you know oh, I don't yeah, like yeah, someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're uh, yeah. I'm better than you, talaga. Way better than me for sure. Um, I yeah. could tolerate more shit. Yeah, like for me, when it's like, when you're in, when you're in my blacklist, you're in my blacklist. Uh, like, yeah, there's no way from that. That's but so funny. That's so yeah. funny. Definitely, yeah. I'm definitely not perfect. Still trying to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's life, though. Um, uh, it's getting it's getting dark. Let's like close this with a good topic. Yeah, close a good topic. So what future plans? Ah, so okay. Nice so. game plan. Yeah. Ah, uh, I guess <coughs> game plan ko lang is up until January. So we're recording ah. this November 
What? 16? Is it 16 uh, today? Nine, uh, 18, prob- 18. Yeah, third week of November. 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, from the looks of it, I'll be going on a trip to Thailand for work. Yeah, for work. Then, this is the first time, boy, and I'm excited for holiday. Because ah, my yeah. aunt will be coming home. Mm. This is like the first time your aunt Are you talking about after work? After work. Yeah, yeah after work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time that my aunt will be... From Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah. Chicago. Nah, she'll be celebrating Christmas here in the Philippines. Mm, yeah. Like, this is the first time. So, That's I'm really crazy. looking forward to it. Are, clo- are you close with your aunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Really, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I mean, she's a really a good aunt. Like, she's your mom's sister. Ko na, oh, if I need anything, That's just good. Ask, ask her. Na. That's good. It's not like I'm abusing yung ano, yeah, like, for sure. For generosity. But, sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yun. As, as we're going to Bohol, mm-hmm. January. Where it's not a book, but it's what I'm looking forward to. Then, uh, mm. Japan. Japan! Yeah, I'm going to Japan. Japan. Boys, going to Japan. January. I'm going to meet the kawaii girls. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his weakness, the kawaii girls. Shit. But, but uh, boy, Japan feels like a chapter na it's long time coming. Mm. Mm. You're, you're planning it for a while. Yeah, yeah. For a while, na yeah. I really wanted to go, pero yeah. good thing you pulled yeah. pulled the trigger, na you booked the tickets. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just feels right. Yeah. Yeah, it just feels right. That's good nice timing. Singularity. Yeah. Timing's good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, be like one good thing then is I'll be staying so place and friend mm. so I don't need to pay for a comps. That's good. Ah, that's, that's really, really good. good boy. You're gonna make content then. For yeah. sure. For sure, uh, for sure, for sure. Like storytelling content, a mix. Uh, I I wouldn't waste the opportunity. For sure. That's Japan. Na I could make I could make Japan con. I mean, really mm. good. Japan con is really good. Yeah, Japan's amazing. Is I mean, clickbaity. It's super baity in a way, <laughs> but it's good content. Yeah. Yeah. Japan's amazing. That's why. Yung, yeah. Tapos, I don't know. I really wanted to go back to YouTube, making content mm. to YouTube. I just long form. I just couldn't figure out. Like what kind of style you want? Yeah. Plus, I think what's hard is like it takes so much work and effort to make a YouTube video. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Damn. There's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, the ba. Uh huh. I, for me at my current state, it will take me a week just to make a YouTube video. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then if I compare it to TikTok or Vertical for my short form, in a week I could make three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still questioning myself. Nah, like we're yeah. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to figure out. Sa 2023. Ah, 2024. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 2024. Yeah. So I guess that's where long form content. Mm. Hopefully, I could. I mean, this, this mm-hmm. then. Like. Yeah. I just need. I just don't have friends who I could record podcasts yeah, like. Yeah, no, I get you. In real life, as much. I get you. I know. I wish you could. Do this like every week, Farrah. No, the yeah. It would be fun. It's like, nice. oh, just catch up. Oh, how's your week? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's what I, I mean. Uh, last before I turn your question mm. to you. It's so one thing then. Uh, I would like it would. Uh, this it's what it's nice. Now at the end of the day, someone would ask, "How's your day?" Yeah. So I don't know. Good. I don't know. Yeah. If you have a friend or family or like mm. you're in a relationship, I think it's a good thing. Now mm. just ask them, "How's your day?" I don't know. It's, it's I want to say it comes, a, there. comes comes a long way. Yeah, yeah, deba. Right? Yes. Yeah. Bro, in a way that, uh, I mean, if someone asks that like every day, like how's your day? Oh, yeah, how's yeah, your no, day? I like, think. you know. I don't know. But I, I think, think it's if it's, sweet. I think if it's a genuine, nah, how's your day? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a difference mm-hmm. between like how's your day, bro? You're busy doing other stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So how about you, boy? Like, what's the plan? plan? I'm gonna get wild in Thailand. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, uh, no, the next game plan, yeah, Thailand's next. And uh, today's, what, eight? No, eight. I think it's 18. Because the flight's on the 20. Yeah, today's 18. Flight's on the 20 at 12 a.m. <laughs> Why you always book those? I don't those know, man. Flights, I don't know. Boy. I mean, it's the cheapest then, to be oh. fair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the next game plan is just. To fight, uh, also edit the Japan content. Mm. I definitely Watch out for that. that. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, that. The new style, the new RJ style. And then uh, I really want to do the whole Southeast Asia mm. next year. 
Mm. I don't know how, but I'll try to make it happen. Because mm. that was the original plan of what I wanted to do when I came here the first time in 2020. So now I don't have any excuses and I need to mm. make it happen. So that's the game plan. I see. Yeah. Finally, diba, parang, the time starts to move. Na, yeah. Na. Like, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And I, like, I guess I'm glad now with the knowledge that I have now to approach these next countries with the knowledge that I have. Because then, um, like, honestly, I, I'd say, like, I was a very rookie traveler before yeah. 2020. Uh-huh. Like, very rookie. So, I honestly, it was... I mean, bless bless me like back then because I was so ambitious. Mm. Not think, thinking that everything will just fall into place. But I feel like if I didn't know what I knew now and that I would travel, like I would be so screwed. <laughs> yeah. Be so screwed. But now like I'm more seasoned, a seasoned traveler. I think I'll be okay for sure. That's good. Guys, there's yeah. something to watch out. Yeah. Uh, so I did. Where could people find your content mo? Uh, the content, you can find me uh, at RJ underscore travel and chill. The N is the letter N. Uh, so RJ travel, letter N, chill. And that's on all social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Okay. I think that's where we would end this podcast. Guess this is a yeah. good way to you know, to cap your know, yeah. PH journey. Mo talaga. Yeah, PH. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot still happened. Like, but... We only have limited time. The sun is going down. Yeah, man. it's getting dark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll have our dinner somewhere, Gami. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. See ya. Later. Enjoy. Subscribe to Jack's podcast. <laughs> the Problem Child podcast. <laughs> Clap ka.